What is up, guys? Wraith here, Greybearded Gaming Society, and we fell victim to peer pressure. We could not help ourselves. We got in a dynamite group. It's a whole pack of little dark elves here, and you can see all the pets. We got, and was, we've rotated between other necros and other mages. Been in here for quite a while, but uh, like I said, I fell. I fell victim to the experience was so good, and everybody else was glowing green. I couldn't help myself. And I got a I uh, got an experience potion for myself, which I mean I already had the the you know turban points or coin points whatever they are, but uh, I have absolutely made the most out of it. I didn't want to do another really big, just you know fighting montage at least not to kick over the last you know another video. The last one was mostly just that, but we've been out here for a while. I mean a long while. Think about how long these things do when they start with. I've already gone through a whole hour and some change of this thing, I believe. It's they're three or four hours long. I've already gone through about half of it. But we are sneaking up on level 11. So we got invited out here right after we wrapped up getting level 7. We, uh, we got an invite. And there we go. There's the ding. Level 11 in the bag. Which we will take it because with level 11 if I'm not mistaken now we should get our upgrade to our cleaning darkness which means our our ability to fear kite just got a lot better now we already had our level 8 spells with us so we had our new imaginary friend here Gekub who uh, again all the pets have been tanking for us we've not had a real tank player the entire time we've been out here it's just been the pets just hordes of necro pets and mage pets just flying and everything um, we had a cleric for quite a while who would would buff up the pets to even make it that much easier. We really haven't been healing them uh, per se, just because everything's getting swarmed and we're doing a lot of damage. So that that part's been fine. I haven't done crazy in loot department, but haven't done horrible. You know, got uh, some bags, lots of copper. We'll fix that problem. We go buy some spells. We uh, we have not gotten any spells. Oh, something's funny. Hold on, where's that? Where's that? It's way over there. Okay, let's get in the mix. There we go. But I mean, this is basically about how most of the combat has been. Just this, everything getting swarmed under by all these pets, dots flying everywhere. It uh, it has been a really, <laughs> a really good time. And there have been a few times where we've had, you know, a bunch of spawns at the same time. The other one handy thing is, I mean, I already had my fear kiting set up on the bar. I really haven't had to change anything. So there's been quite a few times where with the necros in the group like something goes running one way with dots and one thing goes running the other way with dots and just buys us plenty of time so we've been able to handle pretty much everything mostly with uh with just our pets and a lot of times and yeah, that one's too far away i'll just sit here and kind of tab and if something comes in if i've got the mana we'll just kind of blink at it but it, it has been a lot a lot of killing has been very very handy for the old experience bar like i said i wasn't sure when i kicked off on this one whether or not i was actually going to do the uh, experience potion i was like everybody else is glowing blue this experience is going so awesome and i just i have just cracked out a bunch of levels and that i mean really too that's one of the huge differences you know if i had to point out really the one really big thing really big difference between you know, like you know a TLP server like this and 99 aside from like the creature comforts that you can just kind of buy um, you know the experience modifier is different I mean you definitely level faster I mean you've seen like I have already passed what I've been able to do on my little wizard with much more work like that dude's been uh, he's put in a lot more time than this guy has already and it's just again it's you know the more modernized version which again i know it's not for some people i like both i can see the benefits of both there's nothing like uh, playing a game that's going to totally punish you and then it's a game that's only going to somewhat punish you but um it, ha it has been a lot of fun it's not a very chatty group because we stay busy for so long and then everybody jumps up run ourselves out of mana trying to trying to mass murder everything but i think uh i think it's probably about time for me to call it for this particular little session just so I can go back and get some spells I said originally I had uh, I was gonna sign off so this is kind of a carryover we're still on Thursday night technically 
<laughs> if you want to be super technical, we're into Friday morning, so I'm probably going to get in trouble with the wife here in a little while. But um, I got invited to the group about the time I planned the log. I jumped in it. I said I've knocked it out for, for a couple of hours. And uh, on the upside, at least I do get to work from home tomorrow. So don't have to get up early enough to have to drive anywhere. But yeah, we'll, um, I think from here we're going to jump back over into town. We're going to go ahead and uh, you know get our spells and everything. Get that stuff set up. And I think we'll be in really good shape to start doing you know some more uh, substantial fear kiting. Because our snare will be a lot more powerful. Now again, we'll have to see. I don't remember the mana cost on it, so we'll have to see how that goes. But um, I tell you what, let me let me wrap up everything here. We'll jump over to town, and I'll check back in with you guys here in just a minute. So just one of those kind of creature creature comfort kind of things, total life improvement kind of things, is we have Origin, which just pops us out right here. So we, rather than having to gate and even run through town, we were able to just jump straight to here and get uh, all the way back to where we needed to be. So we are going to jump over here. People got some pretty cool skins going on already, which is pretty nice. So I think we're done with her now. So I don't really care about any of that stuff right now. So let's see what this guy's got for us. Yeah, let's we'll sort this by level. Don't care about those. I don't, really don't care about the heal. Don't care about that. Don't care about that or that. Heat Blood, that'll be a big one. Uh, Spook the Dead, that'll be a nice one. Engulfing Darkness, be awesome. Uh, Convoke Shadow, that's our new pet. So we're actually going to go ahead and get that while we're here. We'll get Life Draw while we're here. I'm not really worried about Summon Corpse right now because it's like super duper expensive. So I don't want to mess with that. And then, ooh, what is that? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with anything. And then we need to find the person that has our new uh, shield skin spell. Not any of these people. So we started with the other one, so we're going to have to dig around. Let's see. Are you up here? Nope, you're super high level stuff. You're in the guild master. You're a Shadow Knight person. So there's obviously somebody that we're missing somewhere that has like our uh, shielding type spells and things like that. So I'm going to dig that dude up. I'm going to go ahead and memorize the few spells that we have. Um, then we will run around. I don't know. Was there anybody in here? You're all guild masters, right? Yeah, these are all guild masters. So there's nowhere he's chilling in here. So somewhere around here <laughs> is the little twerp that we need. That should, yeah, all I've just done is run in a circle. I know. I know. I'm a noob. Shadow Knight spells. Shadow Knight spells. Shadow Knight spells. I don't think any of you people are going to help me in the slightest. Okie dokie. So this is what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go ahead and jump off of this for just a minute. Basically just so you guys don't have to watch me run around. I'm going to find this other person that has our uh, utility spells, and then we'll be back, and we will figure out uh, where we want to go hunt from here. So we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we had to uh, wiki a little bit, but we did find our guy. If we were here, we should have done this earlier. Let's go ahead and uh, sell all of the stuff that we uh, got on our way out. Let's not sell that whole bag. <laughs> But yeah, so we have uh, we have all of our new spells. We're gonna scribe a couple of them, store the rest. We've actually been stockpiling. So we got 50 spiraling silks, about 30 spider silks, a couple of things. I don't know whether we're really gonna be able to pawn them off or not, to be quite honest with you. But uh, we'll have a couple things up under the belt, which will be handy. We should be able to. Yeah, let's just jump out from here. Boink. We like I said we actually had to zone into uh, an area commons and come to the bigger caster. Guild Hall, that's where our general spells are. But so we picked up Bind Affinity, we got the next uh shield and spell. I don't think our next one is till like 16-ish. Probably could have just paid attention to that, maybe. Alright, gang. There we go. Level 12. We got
we get uh, a couple of spiffy new spells. I mean, one, we get the new pet. He's not a gigantic upgrade. I mean, he's only coming in at level 11, so he's actually a little bit smaller than we are. But hopefully he will uh, live at least a little bit longer against some of this stuff. I am playing the game of risk versus reward. I have come here to the edge of Lava Storm. And I've been just absolutely... I mean, as you've seen, <laughs> I uh, run to the zone every so often. I stay really close right here. I've been trying yellows. I've been trying reds. I've been trying evens. Whatever is going to get me the most amount of experience. So, again, we got level 12, so we got our new life tap spell, which is a pretty big hit. It's a substantial upgrade over the last one, which is quite nice. We got the new pet, and then we also have, our, of course, our little bind affinity. So now we are fully able to travel, kind of at will now. We can uh, set up somewhere different and have a pretty good time of it. But we uh, found out a couple of other cool TLP things today. One, like our experience thing, finally did wear off. It is the holiday weekend, so they are doing... I don't know if you can see it, with a bonus. Basically, they're giving uh, some bonus experience right now, which is pretty cool. And then, for the longest time, I've actually been running around with Clarity, which was outstanding, which means I had just a ridiculous amount of mana pool going on. And then one of the other big bonuses that I had uh, discovered this, and again, this is one of those uh, TLP... Uh, that's, that's resist, is what that is. Punch to the head. Take one of those. Back off. Yeah, I mean, they're still hitting the snot out of these pets. They just, they're really, really not made to, to tank. But he will follow behind this guy and do just fine. See if we can land our big heat blood here. There we go. So he's he's done for. He just doesn't even know it yet. And then watch this. We're at 83%. We'll do that once. Pow! 100%. There it is. So let's keep this rolling. We got the, the easy peasy refill here. All right. So as I was saying... One of the other things that, uh, that we just found out is, and this is one of those TLP quality of life, call it a hack, call it whatever you will, but you can actually go into the store and buy this little item called a Ticking Companion. And it's just like one of those little familiar things that pops up, runs around with you, and uh, looks like a little clockwork. I actually, un here, I'll see if I can summon him again. And he will pop up. He'll be like, doink! And he's just a little clockwork who's going to run around with you and, and do his thing. But the other cool thing about him is he gives you this buff. Which gives you 250 mana and 200 endurance. So that is quite, quite the, the buff right there. Especially for lower level players on a TLP. And he is, I think, on sale right now for a little a little over, what was it, like 100, uh, 100 tokens? Maybe it was like 150 tokens. That's the fire engineer. Da, 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 da. Familiar, yeah, taking companion one one forty five. So, again, one of those things. If you're looking for uh, for creature comforts, start on a new server. That's definitely a way to do it. We have uh, been taking full advantage of it, and I've actually just been clicking him off so I don't have him running around and just having the buff. But it's uh, been quite quite handy. But we are going to keep uh, keep going at it here. Like we've, one thing, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to relocate to the other side, and maybe go out to uh, Common Lands. Maybe see about some of those groups there. The big thing I'm just super happy with right now is, as you can see, we have been fear kiting quite successfully here, and a lot of it just comes down to how much we're just going to contain our our mana pool, right? Because like this guy. I don't have to watch out for those spiders. The spiders have been kind of rough. We've messed with a couple of them. We managed to take one. But a lot of the other ones have just broke a foot off. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see with this guy, this guy's a little smaller on the drag side. So he's uh, he's dropping pretty quick. My pet will finish. What is that? Okay. That's the first time that's happened since I've been out here. I'll be with you in a minute, Mr. Goblin, because I still have plenty of mana. So, yeah, here we go. We'll go back to back here. Doink. Go ahead, aggro the pet all by yourself. You are now feared. Let's, uh, oh, he blood might be too much for this guy, but we've already cast it. So he's he's going to be down for the count pretty quick, I think. Yeah, that's like I said, one of the things I've been, been juggling back and forth, which I've been doing really good fear kiting, having a blast doing that. Well, one of the other advantages that we have is on some of the slightly smaller stuff, we can just use our, um, just our poison. And we just, it takes a little bit longer 
let everything run the duration and does its thing. On some of the bigger, harder stuff, we definitely try to get uh, try to get the heat blood on them quick. Like when we've, the few times we've tried to mess with the spiders, or if we tried to mess with something that was you know nice and yellow or red, because we have tried to take on a couple of red things here and there just to see, because they've been worth so much experience. But it uh, it has been a blast. We are going to keep trucking along and see. So really quick, guys, actually just wanted to jump back in to a really super fast snippet update because I actually forgot to do this when I was doing my quick recap. We have level 50s on the server. Necro, a cleric, an enchanter, a mage. Most of them are in the same guild. They could possibly be a just a full-on you know experienced grinding group. The, uh, the guild cowboys and camels have not been messing around. They have a lot of people very high level. They are going for the gusto quite quickly. But here we go. We are three days in to the new server, and we have level 50s. And granted, again, I mean, this, the, the TLPs are different from like the classic 99 kind of experience with the experience potions and the bonuses, but that's fine. I mean, these guys have been crushing it coming out of the gate. Some of these people, I'm wondering if, uh, if they've even gone to the bathroom <laughs> these last couple of days. But there we go, guys. That's what I, I thought to check that right after I finished with my last little, uh, little update. We have our first blocks of level 50s on the new Thornblade server. All right, gang, we are checking back in. We uh, we ran out into the common lands and we were like fear kiting like some bears and some cats and some snakes. Pretty much kind of whatever we could find. We hung out for quite a while with the LFG flag up hoping for uh, like an orc group or something that never quite materialized. So instead, we got invited to a group out here in North Row and we've been out here having a pretty decent time. Every now and again, we've had, uh, you know, a little bit of trouble here and there. Nothing too spectacular, nothing we couldn't handle. We uh, got our first actual named, which I should have thought to hit the button, but it was so chaotic at the time. I was actually worried we were going to die, but we got the Rahotep named uh, zombie guy. And he, uh, he basically dropped a loot from a named sand giant in South Row, I think. <laughs> He dropped the fine silk turban, like the 10 AC anybody can wear helm. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, uh oh, apparently we've got, we might have ourselves a name coming again. Looks like we do. Yeah, we got ourselves another name coming. And it's going to pound our cleric. Let's see what we can do here. I said last time this was, uh, it was dicey. It was very dicey. And we ended up with aggro. I'm getting a ton of resists right now. So I need to slow down what I'm doing here. But yes, this will actually be the, uh, the first, assuming that we survive this. This will be the first instance where you can see the, the potential for the random loot at play. And another resist, this guy is killing me. But he's wanting to peel off because I did land my really big dot on him. Yep, here he comes. So can I get the snare? Nope. This is going to hurt a lot. And I don't have the mana. Yay for clerics! Oh! <laughs> oh, that was painful. That was painful. Uh, how do we do this time? Uh, let's see. This time, uh, no, that's not from him. What did he drop? A magic dagger, which I thought came from unrest. Could be mistaken. But either way, that's uh, that's what happens when everything is uh, when everything is random. Stuff like that happens. So. Either way, guys, so there we go. We're going to hang out here for a little while and see how we do. Like I said, that's our first instance of uh, totally random loot kind of out of nowhere. And, yeah, I, um, you know, <laughs> we'll take it. But we'll check back in here one more time later and kind of see how, uh, how we're doing. All right, guys, so we have had an unbelievably wild ride today which was just absolutely outstanding like so we got out there to that group in north row we had a just it was a solid group we were able to handle lots of mobs but we kept getting the little named 
mummy, the Rahotep, whatever his name is. And we just totally racked up on loot. Guys, I'm going to have to just show you some of the stuff that personally, like I got a dagger of Marnek from this guy, which of course is Necker only, which is just awesome. It actually started with a Pugilist, one of the small magic daggers. And once I got the dagger of Marnek upgrade, I actually gave that dagger to someone else in the group so he would also get an upgrade. I also got the Thermaturge's robe. So not an amazing upgrade, but it still has some stats. It's more armor and it has some stats and it's this, uh, this spiffy orange color, that, I'm, that nice burnt orange that I'm sporting right about now. We got that taken care of. Then as if that wasn't enough, between all the loots and drops that we got for the rest of the group was just outstanding shields, weapons, everything. A level 50 warrior rolled by and just started handing people items. Uh, apparently I should have rolled a shaman because he gave the shaman a totemic breastplate and then a harpoon of the depths. But then he actually gave us a staff of writhing, which is, I mean, it's not totally amazing gangbusters for us, but it's still funny. It uh, absolutely looks necro because it's a skull on a stick. I mean, that just looks necro-esque right there. Just a skull on a stick. We are closing in. Well, I say closing in. We're, we're level 15 now. We're just shy of 40% through. We have our spells for 16. Oh, actually, I, I forgot. We also he, has, he also gave us this guy, like a wand of shadow with multiple charges, which summons a level 35 pet. Now, we're not big enough. Unfortunately, or excuse me, it's a level 33 pet, but you gotta be level 35 to use it. If not, I would be using that to power level the bejesus out of myself. But either way, it's still super cool. Like he gave me that, he gave me that. Because again, originally this was here. And then as soon as he gave me the staff, I was able to move the dagger of Marnik there. And then I still have my fire beetle eye for my spiffy red-handed glow that does absolutely nothing. Um, so we'll see what happens. But it was a dynamite day. Like I said, closing in on 16, we should have that easily easily i mean hopefully hell we might even be 20 by the weekend we'll see how it goes like so there's already there's lots and lots of level 50s now a lot of people are hiding out but i mean just even right out of the gate and it was actually defense this guy right here this uh this level 50 warrior was the one who ran through and was just showering noobs with with presence so thank you very much whoever you are that was super cool uh we, at one point we got up to like 50 plat we came back in and like I said, we bought uh, we bought our spells. We got our level 16 spells, and then we just we filled out a couple of spells for our spell book. Um, we have got the stuff at 12, so we can buy the gate now. We went ahead and picked up some utility just in case because it's on the cheap and we have some cash. We did pick up shield skin for when we're soloing for right now, and some cat's eye gate. Like the cat's eye gate, buying those were like five plat uh, for a stack of 20, which is actually one of our bigger investments right now. But at least we'll have some form of a shield for soloing, and something's a little tough. We'll we'll throw that up. Um, we kind of moved some stuff around just to make space. We also, let's see, we picked up Heart Flutter, even though we have not really used it yet. Um, just to have, it's probably a good one for grouping because of what it does. And then, let's see, that was, spell-wise, that's really all we backfilled. Like, so we picked up Heart Flutter, and then we picked up, uh, like, some of the utility stuff that we just passed on earlier, just in case it's handy. I would say that having the Endure Disease would be handy earlier, because, as you can see, my pet still has rabies. Uh, my rabies finally went away. I had, uh, I was rabid. For quite some time but it has been an amazing day three here on the, the Thornblade server you know when things got a little dicey for a few minutes when the loot started really coming in and getting crazy um you know people arguing on kind of how we should handle it and we just like just let the let the loot roller do its thing you know need on everything else but when it's boss loot need it if you can use it greet it if you can't and just let it go that way um so it, it all worked out in the end and everybody left hopefully as uh as buddies and friends but again it was a very awesome group i'm going to get this posted up i said i probably will not have much of an update tomorrow because tomorrow is saturday and the wife and i have several plans and date stuff to do but um if not maybe i'll jump on you know late in the evening we'll see but either way like i said it's first three days i'd love to be on the server and just see this action and to see how random the loots have been has been gangbusters because this rahotep just dropped stuff from all over the world which is super cool it's going to make playing on the server just awesome and again at the same time it's a whole new thing of just camping loot you don't camp loots you just find a name you can reliably take and you hope for the best <laughs> but guys with all that said and done again it's uh, been a great day this is, this is uh, probably the end of day three for me unless maybe i can talk to my wife and let me play late tonight we'll see but um like past that we're gonna call this one a video for here 
for right now. As always, guys, if you like what we're doing, please don't forget to like, comment, maybe subscribe down below. We do love to hear from everybody. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay distant, stay in EverQuest, man. Stay in EverQuest. Night, guys.